this week, the salvage squad have come to sunny Scotland to restore a machine as hard as rock. It's on the outskirts of Glasgow, in a village called Blantyre. We're here to tackle the Swiss Army knife of the heavy construction trade. During the 1950s and 60s, it was the machine that was either building modern Britain or knocking the old one down. And what's it called? The Rustin Bucyrus 10RB. The Rustin Bucyrus 10RB is a highly adaptable machine that can be used as a digger or a crane. But of course, it's much more fun knocking things down. And it can do that too. But now the mighty destroyer has almost become the destroyed. It's rotting away in a bleak corner of Blantyre. The squad's challenge is to get it ready to knock the stuffing out of something for the first time in years. She's owned by confirmed crane nut Donald Steele, a man who makes a living out of hiring out her modern descendants. Hello, Donald. Hello there. How are you doing? Great. Take me to your crane. Donald's got his crane conveniently stashed in this enormous workshop. It ain't pretty, but it's got all the right stuff we need to work on something this size. Well, there she is. 46 years old, tired and worn. You can say that again. Let's go and have a look. Come on, then. I think she's going to need a bit of work. <sighs> rusty beast. That's what our beast stands for, mate. What, rusty beast? Yeah. A big old thing, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, man. I realised. Check this out. Wicked. Well, I think they're going to be there for quite a while. Well, Rome wasn't built in a day, was it? Or knocked down in one. I like this. I'll tell you what, mate, we've got a lot of work to do before you do that for real. I oh, know, this is all this is stuck. I don't even want to think about what's lurking underneath. I'll tell you something, this is a big job. Yeah. A very big job. As his father transported cranes around the country, Donald spent his childhood admiring them. He got lucky a few years ago when he happened across someone with cranes to give away. Uh, I met a guy uh, who told me that he had uh, some in his garden. I was really interested, so he invited me down to have a look at them. And uh, we got talking, and then he asked me if I'd like one. And uh, never wanted to refuse a bargain, you know? And why are you so keen that this should be restored? Well, because that, that's part of my heritage. I was brought up with these machines, and uh, to see if they were the machines that built the world, part of our construction heritage. The thing that excites Donald is the crane's versatility. It was a multi-purpose tool, whereas the modern machine done a one function. Was a 10 RB could be on face shovel, drag line, crane, piling hammer, skimmer, uh, and also a uh, drop ball for demolition. Demolition? Yeah. That sounds like fun. Once restored, our crane could do a wide variety of tasks, but we're going to stick a wrecking ball on it and have a smashing time. The thing is, our crane lover Donald isn't a fan of wrecking balls. He thinks they're too primitive. But he has got a soft spot for the dragline bucket, a cable-controlled digging device. So I'm going to see if we can cut a deal. There you go, mate. What do you reckon? Bit of room? A little bit more space? You like that? What do you reckon? I'll be rust bucket, mate. It's going to be interesting. Really beautiful. That's no, it. Yeah, <laughs> rust bucket. Yeah, it needs some work, mate. A lot of yeah. work. Well. You'd like to see it with its drag lines? Yeah, really, we don't. I'd like to see it with the wrecking ball. We come to an agreement on that. Uh, you're a tough man, like. <laughs> but, eh, well, we could have a deal on that. OK, here's the end of the deal. We will restore it, but you won't be able to see it until it's finished. Is that a deal? Oh, I don't know about that. Why is that? How do you work that out? So it'll be a surprise. Or a shock. <laughs> Say yes! <laughs> the one that's the... bucket, so really beautiful. Right, that's uh, we've got a deal. No, All right, deal. Cool. Yeah, we've got nice a deal. One. The ancestor of our crane is the 1837 steam powered shovel. Before it, the only thing available to dig big holes was men, and lots of them. Mechanical diggers made previously unthinkable projects possible. The 80 steam shovels on the Panama Canal did the equivalent work of 160,000 men. In time, diesel and electricity would replace steam power. But the machines kept getting bigger. Big Musky was a monster. Its dragline bucket could easily hold a two-story house. Though not quite as immense, our crane works in the same... They are both what's known as clutch and cable machines. They use cables to operate their machinery and clutches to control the cables. The cables allow for the mechanisms attached to the jib to be swapped. This machine can change from a lifting hook to a digging face shovel or a havoc-wreaking wrecking ball. And the idea of a wrecking ball is getting something of a follow-up. Yes, mate. Listen, I know Donald doesn't like the idea of a wrecking ball, but you've got to get one. Right, yeah. 
We've got to educate some people around here about the joys of smashing things up. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. All right, bruv. See you later. Oh, yeah. But if this machine's going to do anything at all, it's got to be unearthed from some heavy-duty debris. To help the squad with this weighty project, we've brought former crane fitter Willie Middlemass out of retirement. He's got 50 years of RB experience. So, Willie, where do we start, mate? The cab. Cab. Hey. It's looking a bit sorry, isn't it? It's knackered. <laughs> <laughs> These tracks, I mean, they look about. Well, the thumber, this one here, looks faulty. Right. What about the mechanics of the thing, all the clutches and the brake bands? Well, the clutches. All, all be taken out, mm -hmm. checked, yeah. and relined. What about the motor? What do we know about that? Well, we'd have to clean it up and try it. And of course, we're missing the jib. Yes. Up here. Ah, you've got ah. a selection. selection. Are you feeling optimistic mm -hmm. about it? It's no problem. Hey. <laughs> no matter how bad it gets, cling on to that fact. It's no problem. No problem. <laughs> we'll keep reminding you of that. It's no problem. <laughs> In order to get this machine ready, Jerry's got to get the three-cylinder diesel engine going again. Claire's going to remove and refurbish the worn clutches and replace part of the caterpillar tracks. And I'm going to look for some new steel cables which control the jib. That's the long bit that sticks out like an arm. But the jib comes in two parts, and the bottom half is in need of repair, and that's down to Axel. But the first job for everyone is to remove the badly rusted cab. To shift it, we need a contractor with a modern crane called a high ab and some fabric strops to lift the cab. I know it's really strange to get overexcited about plant, but behind me, this high ab is the latest thing. It can get, it can, it can lift two tons out at 50 feet. I'm completely overexcited about it all. And to have, have it in the same building as RRB, which 50 years ago, that was the latest thing. It's fantastic. It's even got a remote control. However, it's going to take more than big boys' toys to get this job done. If we was in a 10 RB workshop, we'd be able to take this cab off straight away. They've got special hoists that just take it straight off. But we're going to have to use strops, balance it kind of precariously, and hope we don't rip the cab to pieces. But we need that cab off in one piece, because if it can't be saved, it's going to have to serve as a template for a whole new one. I can't see above it. Gently does it. Okay, side. Safe as houses. The cab is to go to a fabricating shop for further investigation. It's possible some of it can be saved. Time to get that jib moved. This structure is made up of two bits, but they don't want to come apart after all the years they've spent together. The squad have encountered the main problem on a machine like this, size. It's big, it's heavy, and we ain't got the right spanners at the moment, so until we can get a good spanner on it, we can't get this thing apart. You know what you've got to do, Axel. Hit it. Yay! Axel power. No piddly little jib is going to stop this man. <laughs> this part of the jib was damaged and patched up at some time in the past. It's this and the general state of decay that means it needs some serious attention. Hang on. I'm going to touch the back here. The remote control Hiab is going to lift the jib onto the lorry. If it will fit, that is. Get things wrong when you're working on heavy machinery and you soon know about it. The cab and one half of the jib head off to a nearby fabricating shop. Now we've got to move this. It weighs in at a massive eight tons, even in this stripped down state. It just looks very silly hanging there like that. It's like a very big, very dangerous fairground right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <you go. laughs> All right, forget to take it really steady. <laughs> With the crane safely outside, time for some pressure washing. And who's going to get that plum job? Right, chaps, need to clean. Filthy. Yeah, and there's one suit. One suit. 
Who's for it? Go. Doesn't fit me. Yeah, right. If it doesn't fit you, it's not going to fit me, is it? Yeah, it's true. It's not my colour. I know, but you... There are no gentlemen in this world. <laughs> Claire gets down to it with her oversized water pistol. A good cleanup reveals that the engine's got a dirty secret. Right, I'm sorry, gentlemen. You may not like this. Oh, stop it. Well, underneath all the oh, dirt and filth and goodness knows what else, I found a great big line of sealant. Oh, Can you yeah, see it? Yeah, yeah. This sealant has been put on to stop a leak. That hints at something pretty serious underneath. What do you reckon, Willie? Frost crack? Yeah, I would think it's a frost crack. It's been caused by uh, being left with no antifreeze. So the ice has expanded and, and cracked, cracked, cracked the, the metal. Right. Sanitary lesson. If some ice has cracked the engine, our chances of getting this going again are as good as wrecked. MPV with effortless Flex 7 seating is now available with three years 0% finance. Zafira from Vauxhall. To prove this person is not an actor, he will attempt a scene from a famous movie. I'm going to eat a liver with baked beans and a glass of Chianti. Clearly not an actor. So, tell us about BT Broadband. Uh, we used to have a narrowband connection, and uh, it's very slow. And now what a lot of sites do is they, they provide you with snippets of goal sequences. So, you, you know, see the score on a, on a text screen or something, and then download that, that goal and, and, and watch it. Connection's now free, and you get £30 off your broadband modem. Call 0800 800 060. The salvage squad have come to Scotland to get a 10-ton Rustam Bucyrus crane ready to go wrecking. So far, the cab has been stripped off for a complete overhaul, but the engine could have some serious problems. What's underneath this line of sealant has everybody worried. What do you reckon, Willie? Frost crack? Yeah, we think it's a frost crack. Time to cut Jerry loose. We get the engine off pronto, as a crack in the engine is a potential disaster. What have you found, then? Nothing. Well, I scratched it off and expected to find a huge frost crack in it. Yeah. Nothing. I took the plate off and look. The block's absolutely fine. Yeah, it's absolutely 100%. Look at the state of that. That is the best advert for antifreeze I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> it's completely buckled the plate. Yeah. Can you push that out? No, no chance. Make a new plate. Right. Ever so easy, really. OK. Put it on, and uh, it's a good one. Excellent. Next to come out are the two drum shafts. Nice span of action, Mrs B. These are used right. to wind up the cables and control the jib. Hey! <laughs> they rotate one way to wind the cable in, and guess what? The other to release it. Right, she's ready to go. Right, all right. There you go. Now the drum shafts are out, they need a check over. And we can also give the gears underneath a clean. 50 years of filth. 